At this point, her faith encouraged her to push past individuals who may have recognized her as, quote, the woman with the issue. You know how quickly gossip travels when you're dealing with a known issue. <laughs> According to Jewish customs at the time, she was guilty of the violation of coming out in public during her menstrual cycle. Such an act demanded her public stoning. I'm sure she was aware of the danger she was putting herself in. Applied faith is simply defined as the conscious decision to ignore intellectual possessing of a situation while focusing on a desired outcome. Christians are called to have a growing faith, built up by prayer, reading and studying of the word, the encouragement of others, and testing. Our faith should not be stagnant, but applied and active. This woman approached Jesus and touched the border or hem of his garment. This border was worn by uh, Jewish people to remind them of God's laws, according to Numbers 15, 37, and 40. This woman had been hemorrhaging for years, which means she had been a, in a perpetual state of uncleansliness, according to Jewish law. And you find this in Leviticus 15, 25, Ezekiel 36, 17. This is why she came up behind him to contact his garment and not touch his person. She has been shut out from all religious life and social outcasts she had become. In despair over her loneliness and condition, she hoped that an underground approach, a, a secret touching of Jesus, would change her faith. Her solution worked, but it also brings her more than she bargained for. You see, this act of faith could not remain a secret. A 12-year sickness, which no one else could heal, was instantly healed. In this account, Jesus was returning to Capernaum where a man and a woman who each had heavy burdens to share with Jesus was on, was on a faith journey. 